Hey friends, what if your workflows could think and have conversations? That's the shift that Azure Logic Apps brings with Agent Loop, turning everyday automation into intelligent conversational processes. I'm going to learn how it works today on Azure Friday. Hey friends, I'm Scott Hanselman and it's Azure Friday. I'm here with Divya Swankar. How are you? I'm good, Scott. How are you? I am excited to learn new things, which I get to do every week on Azure Friday. And I'm a big fan of Azure Logic Apps. It just makes business automation easier. And I understand that there's some cool new features that are happening. Yeah, so I'm very happy to be here, Scott, and I'd love to share what all the new work that the team is doing. Uh, particularly excited to talk about intelligent automations. Uh, Workflows have been the backbone of automation for a, for a long time, but now uh, as AI is picking up, we are talking about bringing the same intelligence to automation and to workflows as well. So today I want to talk about and show you how that looks like uh, with Logic Apps. Yeah, and I understand a way to think about it is that AI and LLMs are good at ambiguous tasks, tasks that are a little bit unclear and logic apps are great for very repeatable, reliable business processes. So then combining the two means that you can have reliable business processes and deal with the occasional ambiguity. So you get the best of both worlds. Yeah, that's exactly true. Uh, for most customers, they want to bring the AI capabilities to their existing business processes or within their business, business platform. And that's where Logic App fits in very well because we are already at the center of all that orchestration and connectivity. And so bringing in agents uh, to that mix uh, becomes a very natural for this platform. Very cool. I'm excited to see it. All right. Uh, so let me start sharing my screen here. And what you see here is an autonomous workflow. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, what you see here is an autonomous agent. and. Uh, it has a set of predefined steps, which is what a workflow offers, where you can combine the uh, predefined structured uh, activities with the LLMs. Uh, so we have a set of predefined steps here, but what, what we also have here is this um, loan agent, and that's the agent loop uh, capability that we were talking about, which is new to Logic Apps. Uh, and this provides this workflow the brain uh, by associating, uh, by bringing in uh, LLM or Azure OpenAI model here, and customers can bring any model here, as well as you provide goals and instructions to the agent. Along with that, you also provide um, tools and knowledge for your agent. And the agent loop here then goes through a cycle of reasoning, uh, taking action, learning, and making decisions. And when the goals and outcomes are met, then uh, and then the processing stops when those goals are being met. So that's how you can easily bring in the uh, LLM component to your workflows and bring intelligent automation into here. So everything before this this segment uh, was a standard. Uh, what are the what are the terms? What is, is it a part or is it a step? The steps before, like application summary or calling an HTTP endpoint, what are those called? So these are Logic Apps connectors and actions. Connectors. We have, yeah. we have fourteen hundred plus connectors in Logic Apps, which is what makes it very uh, easy for developers to quickly uh, to accelerate their productivity, right, and connect to these systems and services. So now along with these uh, actions, you can also bring in the agentic component to your workflow. Ah, okay, so the agents are now a connector and they, they're they added to that huge collection of connectors as another tool in your toolbox. Exactly, so if I go here, I can add an action or I can add an agent to this workflow. Very cool, okay. So then if I already have existing Logic App workflows, I can zhuzh them up a little bit and add in an agent if that's going to make things better for my experience. Exactly, yeah. Very cool. So next, uh, I want to talk about uh, some new capabilities that we have recently released. And uh, before we go into the specifics, something that we have learned uh, 
over time is that as customers start building these intelligent applications and as the complexity of these applications uh, increases, they start running into the harder problems, right? Like, how do I take advantage of my existing ecosystem of, uh, you know, APIs, existing tech stack? How do these agents uh, connect to the connect to that tech stack in a secure manner and how does all of that happen in an enterprise uh, way so that's what we have uh, that's the support we are bringing in now uh, along with intelligent workflows we are bringing the ability to have conversational workflows and what you see here is an example of that i have here uh, a workflow that starts with an a to a trigger and then I have an agent here, like I was showing you before, that is provided a goal and a set of tools. So let's look at what this uh, agent does. In, in this example, I basically have an IT operations agent that helps the employees of a company to handle a uh, secret rotation. It can be many things, compliance uh, management, resource management. Specifically for this demo, we are focusing on secret management. And when you think about it, it's 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 some it's very critical for organizations to manage these things. But for employees, this is oftentimes uh, can oftentimes be repetitive manual processes. So the whole idea is that agents can assist the employees in uh, handling these things. It's interesting that I see them wrapped. I'm making an assumption here, but if you go back to that second tab, those are wrapped in tools. So what you've done is you're making any connector, any action available as a tool to the agent with that tool wrapper. Is that correct? That's exactly true. So I have a couple of tools here that are Logic App workflows. So I'm invoking workflows as tools, but then I am also using some connectors here, like uh, making updates to Azure DevOps. I'm using an out-of-box connector for that. We also have a human in loop scenario here. And for that, I'm using Microsoft Teams connector here. I do not show here a uh, an agent, but an agent can also be used as a tool here. So the whole idea is that for the agent, you can take advantage of all the connectors and existing APIs as tools to take actions. Very cool. I like that. That opens up a lot of opportunities. I mean, you've got this rich connector ecosystem, and now any of those can be, if you want, exposed as a tool that an agent can call. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Keep going. All right, so this is a scenario. I've received an email this morning that one of the secrets is about to expire. And so let's use this agent and see how uh, the agent can help me uh, with that process. Uh, so here is our chat client and I'm going to start a new chat session and ask the agent if it can help me with the secret rotation by showing me the list of secrets that need to be updated. And in the background, what the agent is doing is based on uh, my question. It's also looking at all the instructions that have been provided to it and accordingly going to use the tool uh, that basically allows it to get secrets uh, from the key vault in this case. So let's go ahead and look at the response here. So uh, I have, uh, the agent has uh, pulled in the key and the expiry for that key, which is going to expire in five days. And along with that, it's also giving me a plan of action here. So it's showing me exactly what steps it's going to follow if I go ahead and uh, take the help of the agent to make this update. So I'm going to go ahead and let the agent know that I need uh, to update this API key and, uh, and assign it to the integration team. Now, while this is happening, it's going to take some time uh, because the agent is doing a bunch of things that it was showing us before in the plan. Uh, a couple of things that I want to mention here is that the chat client that you're seeing here, it's an A to A chat client. So in Logic Apps, the way we are bringing conversational workflows is via A to A standard, which is um, being adopted as one of the popular standards for agent to agent communication. and uh, in this case, my uh, chat is A to A client and the workflow that I had acts as an A to A server. All right, okay, so looks like uh, I have been asked to authenticate to Microsoft Teams here. 
and this is another feature that we have added where we do on behalf of authentication which means the agent is always acting on behalf of the user so here in this case um let's go ahead and complete this authentication step this is again very powerful because you want agents to act on your behalf and uh uh, while they are interacting with different uh, applications and services in your uh, enterprise ecosystem. So what this was doing here is uh, it was trying to get an approval for, uh, for the secret update. And so what I have here is in Teams, uh, the approval request has been sent. And Scott, uh, do you want to approve this request? Oh, there it is. Approve. I was looking in my activities. Thank you for your response. Divya used Power Automate to send this notification. Your response was sent to the app. All right. So it looks like Scott has approved this. So let's see what the agent will do in terms of the next steps. And so uh, the agent goes ahead and uh, takes care of the rest of the steps here. And while we get the response from the agent, we need to understand that it's taking little time because the agent is doing everything that an employee would have done in terms of taking the approval from their manager, uh, updating the key vault, updating the ADO, which is what, which is what we are using here for yeah. all the task management activities. That's pretty cool. I like that. That is a nice little bit of interactivity. I didn't expect that you would have me do the approval. So nice job. Uh, yeah. In I like most... that it shows human in the loop though, too, which is an important thing because these agents are only autonomous if we want them to be. Exactly. And in most of the cases, uh, employees still hold the accountability and so they still need that oversight and guardrails in what the agents are doing. So here we can see the output from the agent that um, that exactly shows all the things that the agent did to accomplish this task. So I'm not going to go into the list here, but essentially the secret has been updated and the work item was created by the agent to basically um, and here is the work item that the agent created in the ADO to manage this task. If we go into the history of this, it shows uh, all the stages that this task went through. And then um, here in terms of the approval, it went ahead and took the approval uh, from the integration team and Scott did the approval here. Um, in order to update that secret. Uh, as you can see, all the uh, history and all the notes here are, are, you, are done, made in, in my account, which means that at the end of the day, it's my accountability as an employee on, what all, on, on everything that is happening here. The agent is just helping me in that process. What I like about this is this is a great example of how Logic Apps puts a lot of different things together. You have the Teams connector, you have the ADO or Azure DevOps connector. Whatever systems you have, you could have pushed that to Slack, you could have pushed it to GitHub. Logic apps really are uh, Lego pieces that you can plug together. That's exactly true. And uh, next, Scott, I just want to mention about the observability. So it's very important uh, as we are building these intelligent applications to be able to trace um, every decision that an agent takes and every action that an agent takes. So here in Logic Apps Run History, through agent log, you get a full sequence of all the uh, agent interactions, all the tools it used, as well as the input and output of each of those tools. So when it comes to uh, traceability, it should not feel like it's magic or it's a black box. Uh, you, people, can, people have full auditability into, and traceability into everything that happens here. All right, so now I want to uh, move to us another uh, use case. And the reason I want to talk about it is what we looked at was a single agent application and it's great, but as the complexity of uh, business processes in, uh, in evolve, uh, some, uh, most of the times uh, you cannot handle everything with a single agent. And in that case, you need to build multi-agent patterns and uh, Logic App supports multiple patterns, but 
specifically the one I want to call, call out here is the handoff pattern. And this is enabled by state machine support in Logic Apps. So the whole idea is that you can build these uh, multi-agentic applications with each agent being a subject matter expert in their area, and then they hand off to another agent based on the question or requests they get. So this is an agent for a utility company that helps with, um, think of like Comcast, that helps with internet service scheduling, uh, giving uh, customers information about what they offer, billing, et cetera. Uh, the feature, the handoff feature basically allows, uh, uh, allows you as a developer to describe who are the agents in this uh, application and in what conditions the handoff should happen. So here from greeter agent, we are saying that handoff, handoff to scheduler agent when the user wants to uh, schedule the service install and things like that. So I'll very quickly um, show this demo as well. So uh, here I already have a chat interaction that I'd done with this agent and I want to quickly show this. As you can see from customer point of view, they are interacting with a single agent here, but behind the scenes, there are multiple agents working to handle these requests. And as a customer, I'm asking for uh, details about the internet service, and then the agents are helping me provide those details, scheduling the internet service based on the plans that I have selected, as well as providing me with detailed options on the cost and the schedule and provide working with me on the schedule and actually at the end scheduling it for me. And wow. finally asking a survey on how that service was. And all of this, as I was showing you before, is handled by multiple agents uh, in this application. And this chat right here, which is running in Azure websites, is using Logic Apps as its only backend. So that this entire chat and everything underneath it is done as a Logic App. Exactly, yeah. So this That's chat cool. is entirely in the Logic Apps. The chat client that I'm showing you is also available. It's an open source client, but we provide it out of the box. So customers are ready to go and ready to use these applications in productions right away. Uh, a quick note on security, everything is secure by default. We use app services, easy auth feature here for uh, authentication and authorization between the chat client and the server. And uh, finally, in terms of, uh, again, in terms of traceability, uh, here we have also introduced what we call as task timeline. So you can clearly see the timeline of all the agents that were uh, handling this request and how the handoff happened from one agent to another oh, wow. throughout this process. That's going to be really good for debugging and for auditability. Mm -hmm. Exactly. All right. So I can do this now. Is this release? Can I go and take one of my existing logic apps and add some agents? Yeah, all of these features are available in public preview. Uh, we have our uh, blog posts that go into the detail, but I would encourage folks to come to uh, this page and we'll be sharing the link to it that goes into step-by-step -step details on how to take advantage of these features uh, to build autonomous and conversational agents and add these capabilities into their workflows. Fantastic. Well, thanks so much for spending time with us today. Thank you, Scott, for having me. It was great talking to you. All right. I am learning all about building agents with Azure Logic Apps today on Azure Friday. Mm -hmm.